all right we're 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 just going we're just going we're just going i hope i look nice i did the lighting differently so my shiny oily forehead doesn't show up uh hello everyone uh welcome to rob's rambling about uh this is episode one of uh essentially my podcast i guess uh it, it's not a podcast though in the sense of in the sense of uh like i'm not putting it on streaming services other than like youtube really uh and it's just gonna be me talking to you all for like an hour and a half to two hours maybe who knows uh i'm not really sure how this will go uh i was just going to pick random topics off the top of my head and just kind of go from there i guess maybe intersperse some q a questions because i i put out the call on twitter and my personal discord so my friends sent me different questions and stuff i asked for nothing memes nothing really funny ones but kind of we'll see where that goes right um and, and they pulled through they got me a bunch of questions i got about i don't know eight or nine of them oh, wait 10 maybe i don't know i got enough um but i guess you know uh welcome uh this is just sort of a casual experience where i'm just talking about sort of what i've been doing over the past week or so um and that's about it uh, <laughs> just like my general thoughts on things maybe in the news or just what i've been playing what i've been watching whatever maybe an appearance by my dog every so often he's a good boy he's laying down over there but if i draw attention to him he's going to walk over here and that's kind of difficult to do because he doesn't he knows he's not supposed to jump up on me so if he walks over here I'm going to like get his attention, try to make him jump up for once. But, you know, over the almost five years I've had this pup, like he's he's not going to do it. He's he just won't do it. But anyway, uh, Banjo Kazooie came out last week, uh, replayed the entire thing over a weekend, which was great. I love that game. That game is good. Go play it. Uh, Xbox version is still better, but that's like going from like a 10 out of 10 game to like a 9.8 out of 10 game. <laughs> like it's, it's not much of a step down. It's still great no matter what. Right. So highly recommend. I, I love the platforming in that game. It's, you know, going through the levels. It, it, it's almost like weirdly enough, a Sonic game without the speed because it's, it's all about perfecting your route. And, you know, you can easily, like, you know, you go through the levels a couple times and you just sort of learn it, right? So, like, you know, an efficient note path and everything like that. Like, I, I, I didn't stream it, but I am streaming it with my girlfriend. And we've been playing it over, like, on her, she's been playing it on her file. I just smoked the whole thing on a separate file. It was very fun. Um, and she's having fun so far. I... I didn't, I'm not going to ask her full thoughts until she's done with the game. And I, I believe we plan at the time of recording this later tonight, meaning that by the time y'all are watching this, it'll be a VOD on my Twitch channel, which you can watch. And I guess I can still put VODs on YouTube, right? Like, um, I don't know if that's going to be something else I'm going to be doing for content creation. Cause like, I don't know. I dump my VODs on here and like, you know, it's good to have an archive, but like I, I want to focus on like making stuff now, uh, like a couple, couple things. I I want to do this. I want to do uh, you know Rob rambling about, and then uh, I want to do like reviews and stuff like that and discussions, which I guess leads into one of the questions I had, which was um, content creation, like goals and motivation. Motivation is just I don't know, kind of for fun. Uh, that's why my Patreon is like really low just one tier is because you know you get the videos like a day early that's it that's all it is there's nothing special about it thought it'd be like a fun side project something to do while i'm in between jobs because i'm still looking for a job right but you know uh i thought this would just be like a fun i guess distractions or sort of right something to 
you know, strive for, just work on, keep my mind busy, um, gives me something to do, right? Hope you all enjoy it as well, of course. Um, but yeah, like I, I was considering bringing back, I used to do Let's Plays um, and uh, commentaries, like game commentaries. Um, if I brought those back, I would like them to be more heavily edited. Like a Let's Play, I wouldn't, because, you know, what, what would be the difference between just watching me stream the game, on, like a VOD, like a four-hour VOD, or just like 20-minute episodes that are highly edited, a little nicer, right? Um, the difference would be time. You know, not everyone's going to want to sit down and watch a four-hour VOD. And, you know, streams aren't for everyone. Like the whole format, you know, where, you, you know, you have the streamer face, the chat you know, the game and, you know, follows and all this stuff going on, right? It's, it's, it's a, do a totally different vibe, right? So I think I'll do Let's Play content, maybe of like smaller games that I wouldn't have streamed anytime soon. Like I know my friend 112, shout out to them. Uh, they've been playing Wind Waker, or not Wind Waker, God, Minish Cap recently. And that's, I love that game. So like, I want to go back and play it and maybe a let's play would be the way to do that because for streaming, I want to start focusing on games I love, which are RPGs. Um, but specifically ones I've not played like, or mostly not played. Like I have a huge list of RPGs. I could name them all off. Right. I know Chris tales is one I want to do. Cause that's like an indie one. Um, which, uh, you know, I, but Minish Cap, you know, I feel like I could, you know, play like an hour of it and then condense it into like a 20 minute edited episode of, you know, goofs and gaffs and all this, right? Because I already know the game. I just would play it again because I love it, right? It's one of my favorite Zelda games. Uh, it, weirdly enough, like the only 2D Zelda or like top down Zelda that I'm not like big on is uh, Link to the Past. Even then, like, it's fine. I like it. Fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Ex it. Except it doesn't tell you about Silver Arrows very clearly until you are fighting Ganon and fall in like the pit or whatever. Then it's like, oh, by the way, did you know Silver Arrows are like pretty cool and you should go find them? And it's like, great. Where are they? No fucking clue. Good luck, kid. Fuck you. And it's like, well, Googling that, I guess, and, you know, because, like, I'm 30 years old, I'd rather not spend my time exploring every nook and cranny of a place, right? Um, and if you're wondering why I'm, like, with my hands, uh, I'm Italian, and I have ADHD. So, like, those two are, like, they get me. So, uh, you know what? Let, let's, uh... Let's throw another question out here. Uh, favorite non-Persona game? For those that don't know, I am a massive Persona fan. Every game in the series I love, except for Revelations Persona and the PSP remake. I'm not a fan of those. Uh, the game's too grindy on PSP, and it's it, like the music's not great. I, I like the PSP's version's music, but it's not great. And then the original is, you know, borked because of awful translation and changes and stuff like that. Um, but my favorite non-Persona game, that's, that's a big ask. Cause like, I like a lot of games. <laughs> I like a lot of games. Um, it might be Banjo-Kazooie. Cause that's, that's like pretty high up there for games I love. I want to say it's Banjo Kazooie, like pretty safe answer, but it would have to be that or maybe Sonic Mania. It's definitely one of those two. Those because Sonic Mania just I I love the classic games, but like that game just totally shits on the rest of them for me. Um, because I like grew up with that series, um, like starting with Sonic One and going up from there um but yeah banjo kazooie is probably my favorite and when it got added to uh 
to NSO, I was like so ecstatic because like not not that like, oh my god, they're working together, but like they keep working together and that's like great for me. What do you want? Al. Everyone say hi to Al. He's here. He wants me to scratch his butt for him. I I can't but I hear a little bit of butt scratches. Okay, now go away. Go away. There we go. He's out. No more dog. Um, you guys probably can't hear it because I put a filter over the mic so no one can hear like background noise and stuff like that. Like I recorded a thing for a friend and my roommate walked by and when she went to walk upstairs, it like like you couldn't pick it up on the microphone, but she's only like 10 feet away. It's hilarious um oh but yeah uh, but like yeah with the, with them like working together it's just like god like i'm so glad microsoft was like because they they're literally selling banjo still like you can still buy that on xbox like it never stopped being sold on xbox once they started um but they were just like yeah probably like write us a check and just have it like here you go take the take this version of the game and and like i said earlier it's like xbox version is still the best one so if you can get an xbox or want an xbox play that version but if you like hey i have nso i'm i want to play it now there's nothing wrong with, well i'm not gonna say there's nothing wrong with it but again it's going from like a 10 to like a 9.8 it's like it's like not a big it's like minor gap between the two especially on nso with save states save states are so nice in that game especially in the later levels when like you know one slip up is just death you know it's just like so nice right what's uh what's something else i did this week i've been re-watching uh the show static shock uh which was a wb cartoon a dc comics character wb cartoon etc um from like i want to say the early 2000s like 2000 to 2004 ish is when like the show was getting new seasons and stuff uh i've been enjoying it it's 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 good <laughs> you know as a kid now i know why it stuck with me like i i see the elements of like okay as a kid i would have been so hype on this but as an adult i'm like it, it's rough sometimes it's not like there's some animation errors like sometimes you'll see like a character like clip like their animation cell like lifted up off the bottom of the screen so there's like a blank line at their torso or something like that like every now and then you get goofy little bits like that um and then uh hbo max hear me out you got to put us like a seizure warning on the show. Like just, Hey, if your eyes hurt when you're looking at flashy shit, turn away sometimes. Cause this show, it, every subsequent episode gets worse and worse with how flashy it gets like flashing bright lights constantly. It is like, there was one episode, I kid you not where it was a consistent strobe effect for like 10 solid seconds. It gets really bad sometimes and it, it hurts my eyes. Like, thank God I have two monitors here. Cause like I can look away and like browse Twitter while this like strobe effect is hitting me in the head. Right? Like it's, it gets bad sometimes, but you know, maybe watch on a smaller screen. The show's still good. So like still just watch it on like a smaller screen or just be aware, you know, sometimes it gets flashy. look kind of, you know, off to the side. Right? Like it, it's it's a good show otherwise like i i love phil amar he plays static or virgil hawkins in the show um I, and season two for some reason just has a complete bop for an intro and then this was the the early 2000s they got little romeo to do season three's intro i haven't gotten to season four yet but season three's intro is like it, I don't know, like, it doesn't fit the vibe of the show at all. Like, it's just a little too, like, early 2000s rap for kids. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
it's it's just it's not great i think the first one was kind of like a whatever generic tune and then season two was just like oh shit this bobs and season three was like <laughs> an attempt was made <laughs> right um but yeah it's it's on hbo max it's all four seasons uh weirdly enough uh two of the episodes in season three were originally scheduled to air during season two but then they're just like episodes nine and like 10 or nine and 11 or something like that of season three like they're just randomly thrown in there and they're like they they actually like follow up on events from earlier seasons so like it like if you want like just part way through seasons two it's or like just tack it on at the end of season two just watch episodes nine and eleven of season three because like those are part of that group and then go back and watch season three like it's it's really weird uh but overall it's been fun like the characters are fun like the jokes are good they they have you know pretty serious episodes sometime like one there's one about like um you know a kid who got bullied and he brought brings a gun to school like they handle it the episode very well um because they show you the outcome of the begin at the beginning of the episode and then the whole thing is told be a flashback so like it's 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 like a very real episode right and like bullying really hits home for me because you know i struggled back in the day right um kids suck don't like kids uh but it's 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 a it's really well handled i feel um and then you know like they they talk about you know racism and stuff like that and i i feel like they handle that very well um obviously as a white person i don't connect personally on that level right i can't um so you know from what i understand people love the show for you know it's it's a very good representation of stuff like that right and so i think you should all give it a try if you have hbo max uh but if the strobes are too much then feel free like like i said just turn away from the screen for a couple seconds you'll be fine but i thought you know i bring it up here um what what's uh you know what let's throw out what's another question um oh we're talking about comic characters um someone asked a uh, favorite marvel movie um i don't know if you mean mcu or just like general marvel so uh i would say no way home is my favorite mcu movie but if we're talking just general marvel it's into the spider-verse um which is like of course why would he would pick two spider-man movies right <laughs> and like yep like spider-man sorry <laughs> um I'm sure my girlfriend won't complain about that. She loves Spider-Man too. Um, but n more, more than I do. Like she is like the Spider-Man girl. Like that is her thing. A spider girl as it were. But yeah, uh, not, like I, there was a period of time I fell off of Marvel movies. I wanna say, like it was pretty early on, like, near like thor dark world like when i fell asleep to thor at in theaters when thor dark when we were watching thor dark world i was like yep taking a break don't want to watch more marvel movies. and then i saw like intermittently a couple of other ones um but for the most part <clears throat> for the most part i stuck away from them for a while uh and then right before like infinity war and endgame and all that i got back into it mildly um and then i watched infinity war and endgame um like i, I saw the spider-man movies at the time um and i think that was about it like but yeah thor thor dark world bored the shit out of me and i was just like you know what i'm i'm good i'm i don't care what the other movies are doing <laughs> like um and, and then i've been uh we we sort of we've taken a break from it but uh my sisters and my girlfriend and i have been marathoning the whole mcu like including the incredible hulk which is part of the mcu don't fight me on that that's real um 
It's the same character. It's just a different actor. Mark Ruffalo was meant to be there the whole time anyway. So, um, but, uh, with, uh, with MCU, we've been going through it again, and I'm really enjoying a lot of the movies. Um, I, I feel like people are a little too harsh on Ant-Man. Like, I actually enjoy Paul Rudd and what he brings to the table. Like, I enjoy his style, so to speak. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, I don't, I don't see what anyone else sees. I think those, I think the first movie's fine. Uh, and then I think the second one's straight up bad. So I don't, I don't really understand where people are coming from on those. I wish I did. Uh, but that's sort of the same thing with everything. I don't understand the love for Dragon Quest XI. I don't understand the love for Chrono Trigger or Link to the Past. Like a lot of popular things, I'm just like, don't get it. Um, but I guess that also applies to Horizon Zero Dawn, which I started playing this week and the, the first one, right? And I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not super deep into the game. I'm only like maybe 15 to 20 hours. I'm only a couple story missions in because this is a game that you can play. And that's my thoughts on it because I don't really understand the love for this one either. It's an open world game with a bow and arrow lady, and that's it. Uh, I I think the gameplay is completely mid, and I think the story is completely flat, and I think the acting and facial animations are some of the worst in modern gaming. So it's not not doing great in my eyes i'm still playing it so like it's got some hooks in me i guess but i might end up dropping this game because like i'm i just got to uh for for those that that don't that know uh in the story i'm i'm, I'm gonna be like i said no spoilers like i'm not revealing anything <laughs> like i'm still story-wise fairly early in the game um but i I'm at like, what is it called? Mer Mer Meridia? Meridian? Like, the, there's a city named Meridian. That's in, that's, I just got there and I just left. So that's, that's where I'm at in the story. Um, so like I said, I'm still fairly early on. So maybe the story changes or something, it gets better. But like, this, the, the voiceover is killing me, dude. I, Ashley Birch. I love you to pieces. I thought you did a great job in Persona Q. I thought you did a great job as Rise in uh, Persona 4 Dancing. Of course, the one game that focuses on Rise, they changed the voice actress. I, I, God damn it, Laura Bailey. Why? I know why, but why? Uh, but like, and, and I and I know life is strange. Like I've seen. I've seen a little bit of that game through Let's Plays and stuff, and her acting is great there. So, like, what happened with Aloy? <laughs> it's Aloy sounds bored. Like, you know what? Here, I'm. I'll edit this in, but it's like an out of context clip of just a short cutscene of like talking to a war chief character and whoever did this war chief character, you got to open your teeth up when you talk. Cause you sound like you're gritting your teeth and it, and it drives me up a fucking wall. I hear just, here's the clip. The camps have been dealt with now to the ring of metal. It's high walls protect the enemy. We'll have to scale the height under fire. If we're detected, I have another idea. Their base has a weakness. Send me in alone, and I'll exploit it. If I'm successful, I'll blow a hole in those walls big enough for the entire war party to charge through. Okay, you see what I'm talking about? That is almost the norm for conversations in Horizon Zero Dawn. It is hilariously awful. Like, every time I get to a cutscene, I'm just kind of laughing. And like, and like, that's, you know, not a great vibe, probably? You know, like, it is what it is at the end of the day. If people like this game, that's fine. I don't care that, how dare, how could they? Impossible. 
it's fine. Like as a game, it's totally serviceable, right? Um, but like, it's one of those games I just I wish I understood. Though, like I, I see the love, the adoration. Like, oh wow, this was great, and this was great, blah blah blah. And I'm, and I'm like, did. Am I in crack? Like, did we play the same game? Like, Dragon Quest Eleven, especially, drives me up a fucking wall. I don't know how... I don't understand any of the love for that. Because it was so just fine at everything. And then the characters in the story were just so, like, okay at best that I'm like... I. I wish I understood. I don't want to turn this into a podcast of me rambling about things I don't like. Because, like, if if I turn that into this, that's not a great start to my rambling series, which is just, you know, me talking, right? Which, you know, I, I, I guess you're here for me if you're listening at this point, right? Like, but, you know, I don't want it to turn into this, right? Uh, let's see. You know what? Someone else had something. Um. Uh, you know what? Things I do to pick myself up when I'm feeling down. Uh, okay, so I'll watch uh, live streams, uh, but like VODs and stuff. One of the one of the ones I've been watching recently, not because I'm depressed specific. Well, I am depressed, but not specifically because of that. Uh, I've been rewatching uh, Some Call Me Johnny. Uh, he does every year. A sonic hacking contest where he plays like fan hacks and you know demos of like upcoming like projects in the sonic community kind of thing right and i i rewatch someone put together a playlist where it's all of the sonic hacking contest videos he does and uh i've been watching that i'm on 2017 part four because uh, usually every single one has like four or five parts to it um and it's a lot of fun like i i always enjoy like the goofs and the gags and uh every now and then, well if there's one thing that drives me nuts audio balancing is a nightmare i understand but like sometimes some people are too loud and then some people mumble and they're very quiet and it's very hard for me to like I have to turn my volume up and down repeatedly. <laughs> like I have to do that all the time with live stream VODs. Not just Johnny's, by the way. This is all live stream VODs. I have to do this because sometimes it's either too much or not enough. And I, it's like there's no balance at all. Like there's no middle ground a lot of the time. Uh, so like it's it's it it's funny when like I'm in I'm laying in bed. I have my laptop right. And I'm watching a stream and, you know, they're, you know, talking about the game or whatever, just kind of casual conversation. And then someone says something hilarious and everyone explodes or there's a huge glitch and everyone freaks out. Right. And it, it it's loud. Right. So, like, I'll sometimes, you know, I when I lay down, I lay down with my laptop on my chest. Well, <laughs> like, because I like it right in front of me. Um, and so. Sometimes I'll kind of start when I'm laying in bed like that, right? And so sometimes I'll be dozing, I'll be dozing, and then <laughs> because someone yelled or something like that, and I'm like, I'm awake, I'm fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> but whenever that happens, that's basically my tell sign of, okay, turn the volume on real low so you can like kind of hear it for background noise, close the laptop, put it to the side, right? <laughs> like, time for bed, <laughs> no more. <laughs> It's been, it's been fun. That, it, if you can, I actually do recommend checking out those live streams because uh, those live streams are actually a lot of fun. Like, And seeing the creativity of the creators, like the actual creators who make these mods and stuff like that, like it's it's hard work. Like I've, I've looked into like programming and stuff before uh, and like even something simple like ROM hacking is like, it takes it takes skill, it takes time, and it takes you know actual like effort. So like, you know, when I see people like, even the ones that are like, you know, people like to make memes of this all the time. They're like, oh, my Sonic OC 
is in the game now. Like, that's you took time to do that, right? Like, you made a sprite and you created whatever unique move set you had. Like, it, it in level design, right? Like, even if not saying they're all perfect or anything, right? But it's 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 nice to see that kind of creativity and like that people can have like a platform for something like that, right? Like the Sonic hacking contest and Johnny's streams and make a G Wolf and all them, right? Uh, like it's, it's, it's really cool. It, it like gives me motivation to try stuff like this, right? Like, even though this is a totally different vibe from those, um, it's, it's, it's in, it's little, 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 stop saying it's Rob. Stop. It's nice. <laughs> Um, so someone asked me, uh, about content creation, like, but they brought up, uh, games, music, etc. So I, I assume they mean, um, like, do I want to make games or music or anything like that? I would love to make games. I have plenty of ideas for games, but Lord knows the last thing I understand is programming, uh, or or drawing or music creation tools or anything like that. I can edit a video maybe. And like, I, I'm an ideas guy, right? I'm not, maybe not the one in charge, but like, I, I can put together ideas and be like, okay, this is like the concept, right? Like, and whatever role that would be in game development is beyond me. Uh, I, I think that's a producer role. Could, Maybe I don't understand. I don't, what do producers do? What do you produce? Are you produce? Do you like provide produce to the staff? Like everyone gets apples and bananas. Like get yellow ones. I like yellow ones. The yellow apples are good. And I like my bananas bruised a little bit. Those are always nice. And I know people are like, "Ew, bruised banana." I don't like it when they're like ripe as hell, and the only thing you taste is like. Just straight, like, potassium. Oh, it can taste like medicine. Like, a little bit of bruising, and, like, adds a... It's, like, flavor to it. I don't know. Like, what am I fucking talking about? I don't know. Oh, I'm rambling, I guess, right? Uh, but I I would love to get into game creation. Um, I have plenty of ideas for games. I, you know, I've thought of storylines for games. I, I've already thought of, like, my dream project and like what I would want out of it. And I mean, I don't want to talk about it too much, but like my ideal like gaming project that I could make, I would love to make a 3D platformer with turn-based combat. And <laughs> because those are like the two things that like, those are my thing. <laughs> I love those. And of course it would have an over the top anime story. It would it wouldn't be Kingdom Hearts dumb. I mean that in an endearing way. It'd be more like Platinum Games dumb, which I mean in an endearing way. <laughs> so I don't know. Like I 3D collectathons other than like Banjo Kazooie like don't really do it for me. Like, Hat in Time was cool. Nico was cool. I love those games. But, like, Ukulele did nothing for me. Spyro does nothing for me. Uh, like, I don't know. Like, like, there's a specific kind of 3D platformer I like. And I don't feel like that is catered to as much. Because I, I like smaller worlds that aren't you know, linear in nature. Um, they're literally just like a small sandbox, right? Like, I don't, I don't like the game much. And I, like I said, I don't want to turn this into games. Rob doesn't like the podcast, but Mario Odyssey's first kingdom, the not, not the hat one, the, the, what's the fossil one? Oh, Al, go away, bud. Come on, bud. You can't hang out right now. Go away. So heavy. Go away. 
Come on. All right. He's a good boy. Everyone say hi to Al. You reach this point in the video, hashtag hi, Al. Um, but what's the uh, the fossil kingdom or whatever? You need to go, Pooch. <laughs> go away. I love your pieces. I'll cuddle you later. Go away. He's a good boy. I love him. I don't want it to seem like I hate my dog. I'm just trying to talk to y'all right now. Um, but the uh, fossil kingdom is like perfect for what I'm talking about. It is small. It is, you know, open, but it's not like, it doesn't take me five minutes to walk across the fucking map. I don't need teleporting pads. Like how many places are there to teleport in that in that place like five like there's five checkpoints in there that you you can warp to right but you know stuff like banjo tooie where it's like you gotta find a warp pad you gotta go oh you can kind of go close to where you want to go or blah 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 right or like the the fucking aliens in banjo tooie drive me insane saber man sucks like ukulele like the expanding world thing i don't want big worlds i don't i don't don't want giant open worlds. I, I like condensed, like easy levels that are like, you know, in like, for example, click clock wood, that would be a great level if it wasn't the same level four times and all of the collectibles are pieced out across four versions of the same level. Like that, that level drives me nuts. Right. Uh, in, but, like, even the worst of levels, like Rusty Bucket Bay and Banjo-Kazooie, are, like, they're still condensed. Like, you go around the perimeter a little bit, and then the boat. It's, it. it's like, not a giant fucking event to go across the entire map. You can do it in, like, a mi like 30, 40 seconds. It's not bad. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's what I would want. I would want something with a bunch of more casual condensed levels that you can study and learn easier and uh and then add in like rpg elements to it essentially an rpg where you you know what it's, it's a bit like wild arms in my concept it's a bit like wild arms where you obtain overworld abilities that you can use to solve puzzles and stuff like that right um maybe you have different characters you can swap between to do that. But like the outside of battle experience is a platformer. So like, I, I don't know, like that, that's the general gist of it. And I would love to bring that to life someday, but that's the thing. I wouldn't want that to be my first game or something like that. My first game, I would want to be a much smaller experience because I would want to save a bigger experience if I ever got the chance for like a really big like budget i i wouldn't want it to be oh we tried with the budget we had no 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 i don't i would like it to have like room to breathe so to speak right um wow that was a long question and no i'm not getting into music i i couldn't compose music to save my fucking life um uh you know what speaking of music uh someone asked a favorite sonic ost um I really like Sonic Adventure. 3D Blast is great. Sonic R is like, for what it is, the perfect soundtrack. <laughs> like, it's such a small, like, soundtrack, but it's all, like, great, like, workout tunes. Like, you can go to the gym and, like, get on a... You know what I mean? Like, those like, or one of the bikes or whatever, right? And you could listen to, like, living in the city, and you're just like, yeah, getting pumped up, working out, feeling good. Like, that's the kind of vibe that music is, and I love it. It's so good. Um, I don't really know if I have a favorite, though, because every game, other, there's always, like, one or two, like, stinkers, I guess, like, that I don't really enjoy musically. But like for the most part, like I'm the I'm the fucking weirdo who enjoys Sonic Chronicles music. And I know that's like blasphemous, that's like a war crime, like levels of bad. But like 
I don't know. The MIDI has charm. Like the original compositions of those songs are way better. Like the one, the songs that are remixes and stuff like that. Like the originals are better. But like I don't know. Like you listen to Battle Theme Four from Sonic Chronicles. Like I, I like who who lo- who looks up Sonic Chronicles Battle Theme Four? This guy right here. This me. That's me. Hello. Uh, like that song is unironically great. And no one can convince me otherwise. But most of the other music in that game is like, you did it. <laughs> Good job, Bioware. It's so weird to me. They like basically made a handheld team for that game. And when EA bought them, they're like, you're going to stop doing that. <laughs> With no more handheld games. <laughs> no more. That's enough of uh someone asked guilty pleasures as well um god what what guilty pleasures do i have um uh anime fans who are like old school anime well no i don't want to say old school it's not that old of a show it's only like a decade old but uh there's an anime called uh in in japanese it's hyphenated or it's shortened to uh, ore imo, O R E I M O. But the full title is "My Little Sister Can't Possibly Be This Cute," and I know I immediately said that title, and people who know are like, "Why would you like it?" And then people who don't know are like, "What the fuck is that?" With like a very good like, mm, like what? <laughs> I get it, <laughs> I get it. Title shocking. I think it's a legitimately good story, though, and I think that there are great characters in it. So, you know, I I don't want to be that guy that's like, it's cool, wink, wink. Like, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is the show has great writing and there is legit character development. Like, actual, like, all the, the entire character cast, not just, like, one or two characters. I I like that show. I think that's a good show. Um, I bought it on Blu-ray. Uh, I don't think I would ever spend that kind of money again because I I hate Anaplex <laughs> when it comes to their Blu-ray prices, but Blu-ray was the only way to watch the show legally in its entirety, so, uh, you know, I wanted it. <laughs> um, what's another guilty pleasure of mine? Um, if we're talking, like, gaming... I like, uh, oh, what is it? Probably like Honey Pop. It's, uh, just horny bejeweled. I don't really care. I like it. It's a fun game. <laughs> I, I know some people are like, you're so open about playing a porn game? Don't care. It's a fun game. Sue me. It's a fun game. If you played Bejeweled, you played Honey Pop. Just add boobies. It's the only difference. It's a good game. Uh, played the sequel, didn't finish it, so I don't know if that one's as good. Uh, I didn't... I didn't finish it because I felt like they overcomplicated the game. But, you know, they tried something different, and I really appreciate that. Uh, not a fan of the character designs, if I'm being honest. Uh, I think those could have been toned down, so to speak. But overall, I think they are good games. So that's my thoughts on that. I've, never, I've also never played Honey Cam Studio. Honey Cam Studio is good. Uh, I don't know if this is like a hot take, uh, but there's a visual novel I played years and years and years ago called uh, Katawa Shoujo, um, which I I guess is mine has like minor controversy in terms of like the naming, because um, in Japan it means uh, what whatever I don't want to get into that, but it's I I thought it was like a good story. It's about like a the main character who suffers from like a heart condition, and so. He goes to a school where, you know, basically there's like 
uh, like nursing staff 24 7 and all this right and like everyone at the school has some sort of uh they're differently abled uh like there's you know a girl who's mute uh, a girl who's deaf uh, you know etc cetera, etc cetera. and uh, uh the, and i i thought they were all good stories i played through all of the stories which is very rare for me to do for visual novels like even my favorite all-time anime which is clanad I haven't even touched that visual novel yet because just getting like the good ending in that is like 80 hours. Like that's how much dialogue there is in that game. I swear you could probably stack up all five like Lord of the Rings movies and they would like still not have even a third of a dialogue. <laughs> like Maybe the books can match it. I wouldn't know. But like there's a lot of reading. <laughs> And so it kind of scared me away. And then the art style is, you know, it's it's not for everyone. I like it. I think it's funny. I like it. But, um, but yeah, that's, uh, Tower Shoujo is probably another one. Uh, and it's free. That one's actually free. You can just download that on PC. It's a very nice, pleasant story. Uh, my friend Zach played it, and he liked it. And he's also, like, pretty, like, hardcore left-leaning like me. So, like... You know, we he didn't really see any issues with, like, the writing or anything. Like, there's nothing inherently problematic with the game, as far as I know. But I'm also, um, I mean, I'm autistic, but I, I don't think I'm... No, no one in the game is, so I can't really speak for any other differently abled people, right? So, uh, and by the way, if that's, like, not the way to say that, let me know, because, like, I'm... I'm always learning and trying to, like, ask questions and stuff. So, like, if I ever fuck up, just, hey, Rob, <laughs> just, hey, <laughs> wasn't a hundo on that. Just, all right, we're cool. Uh, where, what, what am I even on about? Um, okay, that was guilty pleasures, right? I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, actually, you know, I have a question for you all. If you're at this point in the video, because... I'm like 45, 46 minutes in, something like that. I don't know. Um, what do you want to see me work on? Because earlier I mentioned, you know, I want to do Let's Plays or commentaries. I want to do reviews. I want to do this podcast. But it's not a podcast. It's like a video cast thing. I don't know. Uh, what, what would you like to see? Like, is there not just like, oh, what games do you want me to cover? Like... I mean, you could mention those two. I'll cover some, probably something someone asks. But what, like, kind of content would you find interesting to cover? Because, like, I don't know what people like. Like, I like what I like, which is, you know, I enjoy, like, everything from small, like, digital found, like, small little, like, YouTubers covering indie games, or you know, giant digital foundry. We did an hour-long tech analysis on why GTA Definitive Edition fucking sucks. And, <laughs> like, obviously they didn't pitch it as that. That's not what the video is, but, like, you know, they tear into that game pretty hard. And it deserves it. But it, it's like, you know, like, I love huge tech analysis videos as well as, you know, small videos about, you know, different kinds of coverage of games and whatnot, right? So, I don't know. What would you all be interested in seeing? Um, I would appreciate you all letting me know. Um, because the more ideas you give me, <laughs> the more I can make or work on or think about and try and come up with something unique. Um, I, that's why I, I'm kind of doing like a video cast as opposed to like a full-on podcast, right, with like with, like, editing and visuals. Like, all you got is my blurry-ass kitchen behind me uh, and my voice and my face. And it's really difficult for me to look at the camera um, a lot of the time. Like, you'll see me looking around. I've probably looked at the What's Happening tab on Twitter, like, seven times in the past minute, and it's driving me insane. Like, you'll see me, like, browsing the video, but, like or browsing, like, my screen, but, like, I'm not doing anything. I'm just staring at Twitter. Like, I haven't even opened Discord. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... 
yeah, like 40 minutes ago, my girlfriend said good morning. So that's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? Something else. Uh, what else I did today? Uh, we're okay. So my roommate Summer works at home, but her and my other roommate Troy, uh, they work up in like up north, like an hour and some change away from us. So, and then. She has her small, like, two-and-a-half-year-old child uh, that she brings up for, like, daycare, right? Um, like, that's near work, right? Um, and so, earlier today, I guess he threw up. So, like, they were like, oh, don't really want him around at the moment. <laughs> like, if he's going to be puking. And they're like, yep. So, picked him up. But the thing is, uh, she doesn't have her car right now. So, I had to do all the driving and, like... At like 10 o'clock, I sit down and I'm like, or like at 9 a.m., I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to record Rob's rambling and then it's going to be great. And then, whoops, <laughs> she walks up and she's like, hey, you busy? And I'm like, technically no. And she's like, I need to go get my kid. And I'm like, well, let's go get your kid. I spent the poor, poor summer. I had to spend the entire car ride listening to uh, me listening to gaming. Did you know gaming videos? And it's, and I feel real bad because one of them was like all about the can like it was an hour long video about like canceled games for N sixty four, just N sixty four games. That was probably driving her insane. I'm shocked she didn't say like God I hate this, but here we are. Um, yeah, let me look. At what are you looking at? There. <laughs> he, he, he like whips his head around. He's like, Whoa. It's like, oh, it's all right, Pop. Don't worry. It's okay. No one's going to get you, bud. Hard to fill in the time with stuff, you know? Like, because I was expecting this to be like an hour and a half. Because, like, I expected I have more to say about shows and stuff like that. But, like, I don't want to. I don't want to rip into games and I don't want to rip into shows so much. Like I, that's actually one thing I try to want to fix with. I, I intend to fix like about me is that I come across as overly negative when I don't mean to be like, I could go on a fucking tear with any game in the world and I'll still like love it to the pieces. Like you, you can get me talking about persona four and I will never stop talking about Persona 4, or really any Persona game, to be honest, like, because, like, I just, I am so tuned in to everything about that, that I can point out every issue, and it's never enough to deter me from loving every single one of them, besides the first one. The first one's the only one I don't want. I, I just don't understand. It has so many cool ideas, but it's bogged down by everything else glitchy weirdly translated ps1 version or like functional but bad soundtracking really grindy psp version it's like no one wins <laughs> oh and there's load times on the psp version god okay who to whom it may concern game devs do not for the love of god have loading screens for battles in an rpg please like I, it shouldn't, I shouldn't be walking in a dungeon, the screen fades out, there's a loading icon for like three to four seconds every time. And you're thinking, whatever, that's, it, it could be worse, it's not that bad. And I'm like, oh, no, no. When your encounter rate is stupid high and like every three or four steps is a battle, you're, you're going to be like, uh, yeah, now I understand why. It is not fun. And the only reason there's loading in the PSP version is because of uh, the music. Like, the music the music files are just so big. Uh, and it's weird because there's a fan patch that replaces some of the music with the PS1 game. And one of those being the battle theme. And when you patch it, it takes out most of the loading. 
loading becomes like maybe a second long. It, it is much better. Loading screen like pops up, goes away. But in like the vanilla one, it like pops up, then goes away. It's like just, it builds up over time is what I'm saying. That was actually something I forgot to mention with the Horizon is like, Aloy crouches every time she goes to pick up like a material or something like that. And God, it's so frustrating when there's like 10 fucking things around you and she's picking up every single one. It's like, God, Al, please, buddy, I can't play with you right now. I can't. I just can't play with you, pup. You're such a good dog. But right now you're being a, a, a kind of an asshole. Here. Here, take the toy. You brought me the toy because you want to play with me. Go away. He's being a good dog. He's just... He wants to play, but I can't. I'm recording it then. Everyone say hi to Summer. Yeah, you can come over. You're going to be on the internet later, but... You can say hi if you want. It's just me. Thank you, Summer. You can say anything. You just said you could say hi if you want. So you, you, if you want. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm proud of you. You did it. Right. You you did it. I'm proud of you. Good. good. Adios, mi amigo. Okay. No hablas español. No hablas nada. Oh, porque no. I took two years of Spanish and flunked it twice. Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. That was your real Spanish class. That was your real class. That's actually real, by the way. I did take Spanish. Uh, and I got a D in my first semester. And it's only because uh, the teacher didn't like me. He was baked out of his mind, by the way. Like, my, my friend Renatia can back me up on this. We went to high school together. She can back me up. That dude was baked out of his fucking mind. He, because... He he was one of those teachers that, like, when he wanted the class to go quiet, he'd just sit at the front of the room and wait, just patiently. But, like, when everyone quieted down, he would be like, Hola, class. Let's, uh, let's get on with our lesson today. And it's like, he was totally big. He was, like, so chilled out. But for some reason, he hated me. Probably because I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't a good student. I wasn't, like, disruptive or anything like that, but, like, I just did not. School and my brain don't, were not compatible, like, at all. So, at the end of the semester, I could go up to him and I'm like, look, I know I'm not going to do well in the final. You know I'm not going to do well in the final, but we both know we don't want each other here. So just, just give me, like, a D and move on. And he's like, eh, yeah. Good point. And I was like, okay, great. I move on. And then the second year, uh, I did better on my second year. Uh, not much better. Uh, but, you know, I passed. I'm here. I'm chilling. I finished high school. And that's enough for me. Uh, didn't finish college. Did not. Just. There, there comes a point where, like, you realize you're just not. You're just not a hondo on something like you just reach a point where you're like oh yeah i'm just i'm good like i don't want to do this and okay okay then don't that's that's where i reached with college after like two years i was like wait a minute what do i even want to do after college what am i even studying for i'm good and i left and i got a job and then i just worked like i for me, college wasn't the thing to go for. And and that's the thing is I always tell people, if you have a goal, do college and drive yourself for that goal, whatever your goal is. But if you don't have a goal in mind, don't go. There's no reason to. If you have nothing you want to like push for, just work, you know, because there's not there. Both are legitimate methods, but they are different. One of them. You build up experience and you just hands on work, right? Like, not, I'm not saying physical labor specifically, but like you get experience in the job field and that is what can bring you from 
you know, to other positions, right? And you can grow that way. Or you go to college and you study and like you're, you have a hyper focus on one topic. And so you can get a job in that field, right? Like whatever field you're, you're Jones in for, right? Like my sister, she's a huge environmental science, right? So that's the category, that's the category. Uh, that's like the field she's working for, right? Um, and, and that's why she's going to college. My other sister is nursing. She, like, that's the goal she strives for, right? And both are great methods. But for me, I didn't, like, I wanted to go into game design, but I can't, I don't like doing, I can't do math. Like, I, I'm good at math, but I don't, my brain doesn't think, oh, this is something I can apply to this or that. Like, like I don't want to take advanced trigonometry or anything like that. None of that is ever going to be useful to me at all. But it, it would need to be required for, like, computer programming classes and stuff, along with computer programming classes. And that's just not something I'm interested in, right? So, like, it's it's a totally different vibe. And I, I hope someone can heed my advice. Just, like, if you don't, if you're, like, you, you just are finishing high school or you're, like, in between high school, college or whatever, and you don't have a goal, don't force yourself to go because college is not a requirement you i know a lot of like job applications are like oh we want a degree or something like that well, like finish high school or get your ged whichever one and then focus on what you care about but if you don't have like a goal don't do it <laughs> You know, like, God, there's something in my nose and it's bugging the hell out of me. I don't know what it is. It's like a hair, maybe. I, I'm losing my shit. Completely just broke any sort of, like, worldly advice I was trying to give. Who cares, right? Um, but, yeah, if, if there's no, like, path you want to go in life, then just wait until that time. If that time comes. Because everyone's going to be different, right? No one's the same. And that's okay. We celebrate our differences, right? Oh, boy. Uh, that was a lot. Um, we've been going for about an hour, right? Um, you know what? What's, uh, what, anything you're excited to get back into or start? Content creation. I used to make content. Um, I still have it. My first ever review of a game. And... It was recorded and made, like, five years ago, like, on a much shittier microphone in, like, a, like, really badly edited jokes and everything. Like, I reuse a lot of footage. <laughs> I think it's a review of Ape Escape 1. I still have the video. It's still, it's on my old computer. I can dig it out. Uh, it's really bad, um, but maybe someday I'll release it as like a joke, but like that was, that was the first video I have, like, like I first like review I ever made and it was really poorly done. And it, like, I don't, I know with like YouTubing in general, they say like, oh, don't get discouraged. You know, you have to keep at it, keep making videos. It'll get better. But like, I didn't keep making it because i was like oh this my one review didn't reach a billion views i'm done i'm not gonna make any more videos like totally not the way i you should do that like i gave up way too soon so like that's why i'm excited to get back into content creation again like and my reviews will have a different vibe too like it's not going to be it's it's not going to be this but it's also not going to be, you know, like, like it's like, I'm, I'm aiming to not be what other YouTubers do. Like, I, I don't want anyone to watch my video and think, haha, you're just blank or you're being like blank. Like I, I want to have my own vibe, right? Like I'm, I'm hoping that like, I can be fun about it, right? But like not 
a funny ha ha guy. Like I, y- you know, y'all know what I mean, right? Like I, I don't want to be just someone else, right? I want, I want to try my own things. And that's what I'm going to strive for. And hopefully I can get uh, a review done by tomorrow, question mark, uh, or the next day, whatever, because this is going up Saturday. And I'll release it a couple hours early for anyone who joins the Patreon, but later in the day I'll release this as, like, just everyone can watch it, right? Um, and then Sunday I want to do, like, a review of some kind. But the problem is, you know, it would have to be a game I'm already familiar with that I could probably talk about. Um, so we'll see how that goes. No guarantees. Um, but this is going to be a weekly thing. I'm going to try to make it a weekly thing because like I've been playing, I've been forcing myself to play more games. Uh, I know at some point I need to start control. I'm sorry to write. I'll I'll play control. Just don't yell at me. (laughs) Uh, I I want to finish horizon for what it's worth. Uh, But we'll see how that goes. I don't know how long that game story is. You know what? Let's, let's look up how long, how long, oh boy, keyboard. How long to beat Horizon? How long is Horizon Zero? 22 and a half hours. You know what? Wait, am I I closer than I thought to the end of the game? No way. No way. Absolutely no way. I don't don't believe I'm that close at all. But, like, like, I've already played, like, 20 hours. But, again, like... I mean, I described where I'm at in the story earlier in the podcast. If anyone could chime in, then I'd appreciate that, right? But uh, if if anyone can be like, oh, you're like blank percent done. Like, I, I'd like that. Thank you. Um, I don't think I had any other questions that I took note of. Uh, but yeah, I hope, I hope you all have enjoyed this. It's been me rambling for about an hour and ten minutes. Uh, if there's uh, any improvements you think I can make, let me know. If there's, like, any sort of, like, I, 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 mentioned it on, I mentioned it on my Patreon, but I would love to do, like, interview segments, like, me, like specifically, like, I would be rambling the whole time, and then we would add, bring in someone to do, like, just the interview part of it. Because I, I do want this to primarily be just me talking to it. I thought that would be more interesting. thought it'd be more fun. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, Have a good night.